ratio. In mathematics, a ratio indicates how many times one number contains another. The order of the number in ratio is very important. Once you change the order of the number, the meaning of ratio changes. Let's say, for example, there are two oranges and four bananas. So the ratio of oranges to bananas is 2 is to 4, since there are two oranges and four bananas, while the ratio of bananas to oranges is 4 is to 2, and the ratio of oranges to the total number of fruits is 2 is to 6. Ratio can be used to compare quantities of the same type and of different types. In comparing quantities of the same type, when the comparison is part of the whole to the whole, it is called part-whole ratio. When the comparison is part of the whole to another part of the whole, it is called part-part ratio. Example, there are 18 math books, 15 English books, and 20 science books in the bookshelves. So the ratio of math books to English books is 18 is the 15. This kind of ratio is known as part-part ratio, since the number of the math books which is 18, as well as the number of English books which is 15, are both parts of the given number of books. And the ratio of math books to the total number of books is 18 is to 53. This kind of ratio is known as part-whole ratio, since 18, which is the number of math books, is just a part of the given books, and 53, which is the total number of books, signifies the whole. Ratio can be written using the column form, fraction form, or word form. With the example oranges and bananas, the ratio of oranges to bananas using the column form is written as 2 is to 4. Using the fraction, it is written as 2 fourths. And in word form, it is written as 2 to 4. Activity 1. Look at the objects inside the box and write the listed objects in the table below as ratios in colon, fraction, and word forms. Number 1. Blue heart to red heart. Since there are 7 blue hearts and 5 red hearts, so the ratio in colon form is 7 is to 5. In fraction, it is 7 pips. In word form, it is 7 to 5. Number 2, moon to sun. There are 3 moons and 5 suns. So the ratio in colon form is 3 is to 5. In fraction, it is 3 fifths. And in word form, it is 3 to 5. Number 3, red heart to the total number of hearts. There are 5 red hearts. And if you will count the total number of hearts, that is 12. So the ratio in colon form is 5 is to 12. In fraction, it is 5 twelves. And in word form, it is 5 to 12. To simplify a ratio means to reduce it to its smallest or simplest term. In order to reduce a ratio or fraction to its simplest form, Divide both terms in the ratio or fraction by their greatest common factor, or GCF. With the example oranges to bananas, take note that aside from word form, we can also write the ratio in fraction form and in colon, such as 2 fourths and 2 is to 4. Simplifying the fraction 2 fourths, the GCF of the numerator 2 and denominator 4 is 2. So dividing both numerator and denominator by the GCF2 will give you 1 half. Therefore, simplifying the ratio 2 fourths is 1 half. And for the column form, dividing the first term 2 by the GCF2 is 1. 
and dividing the second term 4 by the GCF2 is 2. So simplifying 2 is to 4 is 1 is to 2. Activity 2. Simplify the ratios in lowest term. Number 1. 20 is to 35. Since the GCF of 20 and 35 is 5, so dividing 20 by 5 is 4, and 35 divided by 5 is 7. Therefore, the lowest term of 20 is to 35 is 4 is to 7. Number 2. 21 over 28. The GCF of the numerator 21 and denominator 28 is 7. So 21 divided by 7 is 3, and 28 divided by 7 is 4. So the lowest term of 21 over 28 is 3 fourths. Number 3, 25 to 30. The GCF of 25 and 30 is 5. So dividing 25 by 5 is 5, and 30 divided by 5 is 6. Therefore, the lowest term of the ratio 25 to 30 is 5 to 6. One use of ratio is to express rate. Rate is a special ratio. It is a comparison of two numbers or quantities with different units. Let's have this example. What is the ratio of 200 centimeters to 3 meters? Take note that centimeters and meters are different units. So you will make them the same units, and that is to get the equivalent centimeters of the given meters. Changing meter to centimeter is 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. And so, 3 meters is equal to 300 centimeters. So writing the ratio of centimeters to meters is 200 is to 300, or simplifying it is 2 is to 3. Activity 3. Find the ratio. Simplify and refer to the chart below for your answer. Take note that one week equals 7 days, one year equals 12 months, and one day equals 24 hours. Number 1. What is the ratio of 7 days to 2 weeks? Here you need to get the equivalent of weeks to days. Changing 2 weeks will give you an equivalent of 14 days. So the ratio of 7 days to weeks is 7 is to 14, or simplifying it is 1 is to 2. Number 2. What is the ratio of 6 months to 2 years? Changing 2 years to months will give you an equivalent of 24 months. So the ratio of 6 months to 2 years is 6 is to 24. Or simplifying it is 1 is to 4. Number 3. What is the ratio of 8 hours to 1 day? Getting the total number of hours in 1 day will give an equivalent of 24 hours. So the ratio of 8 hours to 1 day is 8 is to 24, or simplifying it is 1 is to 3. 